Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> now I know why I'm not getting any eggs. You little snark. Guess who has been stealing eggs out of my quail cage? Yes. Maggot. Little Miss Maggot. And Scud too. I wondered why I wasn't getting eggs. Guess why I'm not getting eggs, guys? It's you! You've been getting them and eating them! <laughs> Mystery solved. Well, hello, Grandma DC here. Sun is shining. The miniature daffodils are trying to bloom. I think we can safely say spring is uh, started, <laughs> which I'm happy about. And I'm following Pam in my car today to take her truck over to get it fixed. And then I'll pick her up and we're going to go get mom and I think we're going to head to the commissary. Stock up on some meat for the carnivore diet. <laughs> yeah, I gave away a lot of meat. I haven't been on a meat run in a while. So uh, that's going to be our day today. And I shut the door so Maggie and Scud will stop eating the quail eggs that roll out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to find a table or something to set that up higher so that they can't do that. Oh well, off and running. Plenty of cows. <laughs> This guy that works on trucks is way out in the country. And there's our beautiful, bumpy, bumpy gravel roads. But I do like the land out here. It is pretty. And this little creek coming up is just beautiful. Love to own a piece of land on it. Wouldn't that be great? You could have like a water source for electricity or something. That'd be neat. That's a dream. Oh, I had that dream when I was young. See if we can get any any shots. Hope you can see that. We've arrived. It shows if you're good at something, you can do it all the way out in the country. <laughs> he has a lot of business. I uh, blended me up some, uh, it was a dozen eggs and about two cups of cheese and a cup of pork rinds in the blender and I've kept it in the refrigerator and look how thick it's gotten. Uh, it's almost solid and I'm going to cure that and show you how to cure that in just a second. It really got thick overnight but it took some stirring but I got the egg mixed in and you want it mixed in until it's like a batter consistency. So I'm going to stir on that a little bit more and then maybe add some uh, cocoa powder or flavorings to it, cinnamon, vanilla, a little stevia, or maybe I'll just cook it plain like that. We'll find out. Kind of nice to have that mix already made up, and then you can just make what you want, and dump it in, and uh, close the lid, and you're good to go. And there it is. Can't be any simpler than that. Kind of a uh, carb-free waffle. I get to flip over here. You can kind of see it. There we go. Breakfast. Yum. I put a little sweetener and cinnamon in it and vanilla. My favorite way to have it. Well, today is Wednesday, March 4th, and the saramas I put in earlier were supposed to hatch on the 3rd or the 4th, but we've had some incubator trouble, and uh, I got nothing going on. Yeah, no. Nothing going on with the Saramas. That was March 3rd. Okay, there's a fourth. Quail eggs are due to hatch on the 7th or 8th. So we'll have to update then. They're still working in their new incubator. Let's hope, since we have a turner here that's working, we have more luck with those four and these nine. Oh, so exciting. And... Here's the most exciting thing. I ordered six more Sarama eggs. These are rare silkied or showgirl or frizzle Sarama eggs. And we're going to open these. Hang on. I'm always careful about trying to open these. I have too big of a knife. Oh yeah, this one will work. It's smaller. <laughs> Actually, it's got a flatter. All right. 
I didn't check where these came from, although it was someplace cold. Oh, we got a note. Yay. Eggs are smaller than hulls. Please carefully remove eggs from foam, not foam from box. Good luck. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Ooh, and a very professional looking uh, thing here. Um, so they have been negative for avian influenza screening. These are really supposed to be top-notch eggs. Ohio. Ah, Ohio Poultry Association. And Sharon Woods. These were on eBay. Thank you, Sharon. All right. Oh, and looky there. Ooh, one of them's big for a ceramic. And she sent me more than I ordered. Thank you, Sharon. That's sweet. Oh, yeah, I, I, there's supposed to be six, and she said there was a delay because of cold weather, and she has sent me eight. And Sharon, it looks like they've all arrived unbroken. Let's get them out of here and let them... Ra oh, nope, we've had one casualty. Oh, what a shame. Okay. Looks like the rest of them are looking really good. Oh, there's some extra. There's an extra one. I'm still at eight. Okay. She threw one in on top, and that's the one that didn't make it. It got shook out. I like these foam things that are coming in. Now, these are still pretty cold, so we're going to let them sit here with the fat end up, and I'm going to let them kind of acclimate to room temperature for about 12 hours before I put them in the incubator. But, uh, yeah, we still have eight. Thank you, Sharon. That's amazing. And we're all intact, especially this little one. <laughs> oh, it's going to be exciting. <laughs> I do not know what that rooster's problem is. And there is the funniest smell in the air. I wish it was smell o vision Can you tell me what that is? It smells almost herbish, like a... Uh, I've smelled that smell before, like sage or something. It's weird. Something must be blooming. Morning, girls. Well, afternoon, ladies, actually. Yes, we've had to fortify the gate over there a little bit. Uh, Mr. Scud. Yes, thank you, thank you, Horace. Mr. Scud decided to teach Miss Maggie how to open a gate to go in and chew on a white chicken. Oh, what fun that was, Miss Maggie, wasn't it? Now, Miss Maggie's going to get her butt kicked by this unafraid hen if she doesn't watch out, and I would laugh. I hope she does. These guys, they're uh, big enough to hop over the fence and hop back. Smarties. Well, of course, we all know Helen. There her is with her little hurt back, which is no longer hurt. Yeah, she can, she's, you know, her middle name's Houdini. So, yeah, let's not go over and bother the white chickens. That's what we were bothering was the white ones. And they're not laying eggs too good yet. I still have high hopes that they will start as soon as the spring gets along a little better. What? What are you complaining about, Bluey? She wants out. She wants out here. Okay, well, I'll have to close the dogs in. Right, Betsy? Betsy, I just like this warm weather. I come out here and sit on the porch, soak it up. Yeah, I think I'll do the same for a while. That is the weirdest sage smell. It's beginning to look a lot like spring. Thank heavens, except there was a moth in my house. I, I do not like bugs. Hot, hot weather. Probably going to have to get another air conditioner this year to put in my kitchen window because last year was so hot. <laughs> and uh, right now I'm making jerky. So I bought some meat at the commissary and had them slice it. Uh, it was $2.38 a pound. I got about 10 pounds. And uh, some of it's frozen for later, and I'm making jerky with the others. We used a uh, stevia soda, kind of a base, and then added a little bit of Dale's seasoning, which seems to be the lower carb I can get, kind of a Worcestershire type of sauce. Just get the lowest carb you can find. 
and taste it before you put it on your meat. Make sure you like it. I like a lot of pepper. So uh, I did that and uh, didn't spend a whole heck of a lot uh, doing this. Certainly couldn't buy jerky for the price you can make it for. So something just floated by. It looked like snow, but I think it's whatever that's blooming that has that weird smell. Hmm. <laughs> Mystery. At least we solved the mystery of the missing quail eggs. <laughs> so far I've closed the door and managed to start collecting quail eggs since we found out Miss Maggie and Scud were eating them. Naughty dogs. <laughs> well, that's about it for today. Like, share, and subscribe to keep up with the insanity, guys. And if you want, you can click on my funny face, go to my homepage, and donate to PayPal down in the corner. But you don't have to. I love y'all. Bye-bye. Mm, boy, that is going to be some good jerky. Sliced it a little thick, so it's going to be nice and chewy. Can't wait till it's done. Scud, are you guarding the perimeter, son? <coughs> you betcha. What is it, Bets? <coughs> what? What? There's nothing out there. Nothing. The neighbors are next door. Miss Cheerleader. I must have really small ceramas because I thought my ceramas were pretty good size, but uh, these are big ceramas eggs. Well, that's okay. This one got broke. I was going to cry. You can see right there. Oh, weep. Oh, well. Dogs will enjoy eating it. Um, yeah. You, collar. Would you please get out of my house? Please. Oh, don't you argue with me. Get out of... Scud. You need to get out of the way so she can get out of the house. Okay? Oh, come on. You, back. You, Miss Thang. Out. Out the door. Let's go. Out. Ah, oh, scram. Not you, Maggie. I was talking to the chicken. We need to get Jennifer over here to clean off the back porch and burn some things. <laughs> and then, Maggie, we're going to need a lawnmower this year. What do you think? You going to drive it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can drive the lawnmower. <laughs> Betsy says, oh, heck with that. I'm not going to drive no lawnmower. <laughs>